I V M. If you listen to this in April or May, it'll make no sense. But if it's March, we're celebrating all March, our fourth year anniversary. We were born in March. Uh, we won't die in March. We'll probably die in June. But as far as I know, we were born in March, and March is our big month. Four years. An Olympic movement. Four years have passed. Podcast they said would die. We fought that trend, and today we're on life support. Thanks to you. Kripaya Dhan D J. The language used on the podcast may not be fit for consumption. We warn you, tread carefully. But listen, yar, don't be so conservative. You're listening to Cyrus Says. Generally, when you hear a name like Nivedita Prakasam, you think you need to go home and practice it for 15 minutes. But this girl is arguably the best comedic talent of her generation, and by her generation, I mean 50 years younger than me. For God's sake, this is going to be painful. Niv. On Cyrus says, "Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows?" Okay, time to talk about life itself because nobody else is doing it on any channel or any podcast anywhere in the world. I will do it. I will call the bluff out, ladies and gentlemen. People are talking about the BSC strike that happened in Mumbai recently and how difficult that is to deal with. Let me tell you the sad news about the BST. The BST is on its way out. The BEST, which is its full name and not BST, you idiot, Cyrus. The BEST is on its way out. It's soon to be extinct, like the Parsi and the Tiger. I think the BEST will go first, and that's what the BEST employees have not understood. Because with the metro, if there is what is called a success with the metro, and the metro culture comes to Mumbai, as it has to some extent in Delhi and Cal, we will see the end of an era. The BEST, the buses will go, the employees will go, everybody will go, the travellers will move to the metro. So sadly. The bad news for everybody involved in trying to refurbish, revamp, uh, remake the BST. Well, let me just tell you the bad news. It's just a matter of time. Five, four, three, two, one. No, not the BST. They still have a little time. My show will start. Cyrus says. We'll be right back after this break. Hi, listeners. We at Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund have come up with a special podcast series called MF One Hundred One in collaboration with Bloomberg Quint. MF One Hundred One is an informative series that will help you understand the recipe behind mutual fund investments, and what's more, it's coming from the chefs of the mutual fund buffet table, from the very own fund managers and analysts who are the manufacturers of the funds that help you realize your investment goals. New episodes out every Monday. You can listen to the show on the IBM Podcast app or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, uh, on the show today, one of our fine young uh, feathered friends. Can we say <laughs> okay. that after the Me Too campaign? I got to be careful. Uh, fine young friends, who's the queen of comedy? Mm-hmm. Is that the title? Yes, that is the title. And I'm not being patronizing. You know, the only thing is I'm internet challenged. <laughs> One of your judges works with us, Kanis, yes. and she'll tell you I'm a complete moron. All right, I, I'm, I'm from the print media, so you know you I can't understand anything else. Uh, well, but fair enough. But let me introduce you. Uh, yeah, okay. Nivedita. Is yes, that correct? I'm Nivedita. very bad with names. Yeah. And uh, this surname I couldn't do. I tried. I practiced all night. It's actually a little more easier though. Prakasam is easier than Nivedita. Prakasam. You gave me the wrong name. <laughs> uh, I'm just screaming at no one and <laughs> there's nobody here. There's no reason to scream. <laughs> Nivedita, what do we call you for short? We be half the show. Niv. Say your name four Sometimes. times the show's over. And Niv. Niv? Yeah. God. Can I not say Niv? Oh yeah, whatever you want. Uh, I feel too close then. And I just met you. <laughs> All right. I look you can call Nivi. me you can call me whatever name you find comfortable. But then what's your pet Arza? name? What's the pet name at home and Oh, all? you can't call me that. Why? That's weird. Wow. How hostile. I'm yeah. scared. <laughs> if you think Niv is too much say, say, then say. you you, you Give couldn't me a chance. possibly call me by my pet name. Which is? You know, there are people in my life that know me only by my pet name and don't know my real name. So your Aadhaar card is a waste of time for you. <laughs> it is sort of but in a way. So what is the now you go? You set it up and you're going to tell us. It's people too are cute. Write See, it's, for it's, the first now time. if I put it in public, people are going to make fun of me for it. All right, I'll still say it because I don't half, care. Say half the name. Uh, it's I'll say. We can do it as a reality show. The whole show will give them one one letter. <laughs> yeah, I feel like maybe we should play a game. Make where them. I can yeah, give make you... them listen. Otherwise, most of the guests we only the first five minutes and they're off. I think maybe we should. No, I'll just give you the name. It's Kutu. That's what people call me at home. Kutu. Yes. Is that like a popular pet name? Uh, I don't know. I, it was, it's just, it was just else? me growing up. Well, but Shavon, I know my wo- engineer, <laughs> immediately said yes. So what is? Let's find out. <laughs> hold hold that thought, uh, Niv. Hold that thought. <laughs> what is your pet name, Shavon? Growing up, but he he immediately understood. So obviously it is a, a known pet uh, name. Possibly it's always Kuttu, Pattu, you know things like that. Kuttu, uh, Pattu. Yeah, Papu, 
These are like two dumb these? guys in class who couldn't pass any exam. Hey, but two, hey, but two. So they didn't have a name for me in the beginning. What are you saying? Uh, yeah. So as soon as I was born, they didn't decide. I think they didn't get my name. So they just started Who's calling they? me whatever. The community my, brought you up. My mom. Yeah, my mom and her parents and her <laughs> sisters and everybody. Shawan is giving me dirty looks. You don't know South culture. Uh, yeah. Uh. Did Did you know? But isn't it like that everywhere? I don't see. I know in the north they have ridiculous names. You know, which don't add up. Yeah. Like Chejwinder's uh, pet name is Larry. I have mm-hmm. a pal and I. No one, so I kept telling him, but why Larry? He said, I don't know. Nobody cares. So there's no logic needed. You just say this there's is no the logic. pet name. Yeah, I was no hoping logic. in the south there's a connect, but you're not giving me a connect. No, there's no connect. It's so, just whatever sounds easier to say. Then don't make one of the Bengalis who use the same name twice. Bul bul. <laughs> You know, kum kum, tun tun. I mean, yeah, they, but they take it to another level. And then Malayalis have their actual names that are like that: Baby, Molly. Yeah, that's true. You know. Yeah. I think it's great. What a country! <laughs> we no wonder the British funny. left. The British couldn't handle our pet names. I cannot work with these people anymore. Tum tum, Molly, baby. All right, listen. Enough of this nonsense. Right. Let's talk about you. Okay. Which is the, your story, uh, your journey so far? Okay. Make it sound more bright than it is, and make sure that you pay GST during every moment. <laughs> more uh, bright than it is. All right. Let, let's first start accurate. with that whole tournament. The tournament is the wrong word. Give the, the uncle the right word. Competition. Yeah. Okay. So first and foremost, we've got this uh, last year or so. So maybe a little more than that. We've got this sort of movement in comedy where women are really pushing forward and yeah. almost in an aggressive fashion, if I may say so. Mm-hmm. Um, rightly or wrongly, I don't, I don't know the dynamics because you know I'm just, I'm out of this uh, uh, comedy circuit where the young people stand up and make money. Yeah. So I can't really. It's wrong for me to comment. Abbas, my producer, does do it, so he gives us an insight. Uh-huh. And do you feel firstly there's a sort of wave? Yeah. Where women have come forward. You being uh, in the forefront of that. Uh, yeah, I would. You know, when I was growing up, there wasn't any opportunity like this. Like, I would have always been inclined to do something in entertainment since I was a kid because I was interested. But I didn't have the opportunities. It, I would watch you on TV back in the day. Oh my god! And I would oh, think. One second. How do you? How do you do that? Like oh, everybody around me would never knew that there was a way to. But did get you know my gender? <laughs> That's what we're discussing. <laughs> uh, but see, that's what I'm saying. So. It it's not just about gender. Even even though I'm a woman, and it would have been difficult for me to get in here, even if I was in Bombay and stuff. I'm from the south and from a small town there. Like Where? there was, I'm from Coimbatore. That's not so small. I've been to Coimbatore twenty times. What do you mean? Like there, JMR, there's no there's management a, college. I've been given felicitations four times, and I have gone yeah. twice as guest lecturer. And the or twenty people come to the airport to pick me up. I feel like a chief minister. Of course, <laughs> after they come there, they also ask who I am. But that's not the point. They yeah. actually come and give you a lot of respect. Uh, yeah, they, it's not such a small the, town. It's a small town, as in you don't have any openings for opportunities like these, mm-hmm. like especially in entertainment. You might have them. I heard Stalin is not welcome. <laughs> Let's not get into that part of the politics. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Oof, do you know you, what's going on right now? I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's it's. I, I've it's been a bit a of a DMK supporter for some time. Were you? But that's, we won't get into that right now. Because I, do, I want you to go back in one one piece. Uh, All right. Okay. I interrupted the flow again. I wanted to know, uh, <laughs> but you went back to your childhood and growing up and stuff. So let's go there first. Yeah, because that's where it begins from when you're asking how this whole movement happened. Right. I think it's just time, I guess, because it hasn't happened for so like. I think once Queens of Comedy started, it was just about timing. So Queens Everything of Comedy has played happened, a very sorry, very big role. It's played a very big role for me. I mean, if I was in Bombay and I was already in the comedy circuit, I don't know if I would have made it into Queens of Comedy. But being from the South, I applied because I didn't see any. And through other the way. quota system and reservation policy, <laughs> each zone is represented. Even in comedy, we get five each per zone. And is that possibly? It? I, look, I don't know how I got selected. First of all, I really always thought that I flew through the whole like initial process. What is the of process? Selection. You just write. I had to send in a video of me doing stand up or being funny, but I didn't have any stand up videos of mine. I just done it. I I done maybe 15 open mics in okay. Chennai so I didn't record any of them or anything so I just made a home video uh, and I uploaded it so informal video at home somebody shot yeah. on a phone like that uh, I am I shot it myself on my camera like on my DSLT so like a selfie video <laughs> almost yes wow <laughs> like, I would you know, give you the prize immediately just for that effort <laughs> <laughs> yeah I did then in the whole of Coimbra thought you couldn't find exactly. one friend to hold the phone <laughs> yeah no, she's lazy she no should be a comedian one. No, no. I, look, I'm a comedian. We don't have many friends. You're right. At least not after we do a show. <laughs> like, absolutely. <laughs> At least you don't have friends. I don't have an audience. See, I just talk to anyone. This is this is what's happening these days. But never twice. Oh. Nived, nivedita. 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 <laughs> Give me five minutes. Nivedita. I'll say it again. Nivedita. Till I get it right. Names are important. Uh, tell us, 
what you were doing as a child in Coimbatore before this whole comedy thing happened? Were you like a funny girl? I mean, uh, these cliche things will come you know, all the time. But I was uh, since Smart I was Alec? a kid. I always wanted to be an automobile engineer. Actually, I wrote it on most comedians do. Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and then I did become one. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I this did. Is the, this is what I love engineer. about the South. <laughs> Whatever happens, however successful people are, they're all engineers. Why? <laughs> you know, not engineer. I, I, you know what? I'll, I'll tell you what. I would. I would never dis engineering just because it. It really did uplift a very large group of people. I mean, there were, there are people who are middle class now who wouldn't have been if engineering wasn't around. It's Plus, just such a you, vast. When you fly Air India, you can always help. No? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what yeah, is it with that technical say... difficulty anyway? I never understood that. They never get into the specifics. They're all dumb. Uh, sorry, the flight will be delayed due to technical difficulties. <laughs> so you can put your hand up and say, "Tell me what." I'm an aeronautical engineer. I'll ex- explain it to the audience. Yeah. Well, I I even get kind of intimidated by the whole like um, making you sit on the. What the emergency exit oh, that's area? Terrible. Where they keep telling you, you know, like this punished. is your responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. And you I don't die even first. like that very much. Yeah. So I'm good if they just keep it all to themselves. Like I want to die in ignorance. <laughs> fly, mention airline. I don't want to know how I'm going to be dying on a flight, so they can keep all the technicalities to themselves when I'm flying that plane. Well, but if you want to be ignorant, fly Biman. Biman Airways. <laughs> yeah. Apparently they're very, but they're very nice. I've been only once. All right, let's get back to you. All right. Uh, so in Coimbatore, uh, were you a smart alecky girl? Were you were one of those was that no I was very shy I, like? I'm actually very good at being invisible let's break this myth because people think everybody who becomes a comedian is just one type there's no such thing that's yeah. there is no such thing yeah. I'm very sh- I was very shy as a kid um and I wouldn't talk to a lot. Like my teachers didn't know I studied in their class. Like now my school wow. still doesn't know that I'm from that school. So you're That's like a how spy. invisible I am. I am. Like and you have to be the right amount of average to be invisible. Do you wow. know this? Like if you're below average, you be, people know who you're you right. are. Spot and then on. if you're above average, people know. So but you're you have to be the right wow. amount of average. Fantastic story. It's true. <laughs> right? Yeah. I know. And I was the only girl in my college hmm. uh, in automobile engineering. I, w- I studied with like 66 other guys. Yeah. And everybody One knew. One sec, stop. I've read all the epics. I've seen stories like this before. 66 guys in you alone. Yeah. yeah. And you're talking about feminism. I mean, you, you were running the pack, literally. <laughs> um, the, the attention of 66 men. I didn't okay, do three it were gay. 63 men. Yeah, I would. I I wouldn't say I did it on purpose. I just wanted to study that subject. Was your dad worried? For some reason, where well, he tried to ask me to get into computer applications or something, but I was. But there'll be two women. I didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. get one more. Even computers had like maybe twenty women, and then why is that? Why is it that all these uh, subjects are always like low with in, in the female uh, diaspora? Uh, I don't. It, this is not just in India. This is universally. Uh, women in tech have always had trouble. Um, Representing themselves And I feel like This is all through So let's speak From a common voice here Yeah Niv Let's tell the world That it's about time That women are taken Seriously in tech And more women Come to tech Tech yeah. needs the ladies And it's getting the ladies Like I left automobiles I left the company I was working at But there are so many Women working? in core I worked in Mahindra And Mahindra In uh, the yeah. south Yeah R&D Yeah 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 And they had Anand a Mahindra is a personal sector. friend of mine Really One sent me a CD Of country music <laughs> Did you have dinner with Never sent me a, No no <laughs> she sent a jeep to pick me up though Oh that's yeah. cool Armada I remember Couldn't get parking So I couldn't get down in time Long story short Interesting I, We didn't meet But I always wondered Why they can't say two Mahindras Just to save time uh, They should have I'm Just thinking You know in the modern yeah. day and age yeah, Mahindra, Mahindra takes a long time They did name the XUV XUV 5 double O There so you go So they should have just Double, gone, like, double Mahindra Yeah <laughs> We spoke about spies The Next invisible person Next time you person. talk to him You should tell him But you're making fun of yourself Average average <laughs> Do you really think of yourself as average? I believe so why did you I'm win average. A show out of so many say. people across the country. Yeah, it completely blew my mind. I, you know, when I won the show, they asked me what it was, and I was like, you know what? I've never won anything in my life. This is possibly the first thing that I've say won. Swear, you never won anything before this show. I don't think. I don't remember if I've won anything. No. Not even like in not, athletics or potato race. To class. You average, correct. You can't top. See? You'll screw up the myth. Never top. <laughs> Promise me. Put your hand up. You will never top. Never I, feel, top. I feel like I feel like I have the resume to be a comedian. Mm-hmm. I I don't know if I would fit anywhere else. At but this uh, but point. when you were a young girl in the nine ten college whatever, did you observational sort of comedy? Was that your style? Would you look at people, observe them? Um, you know, I used to. No, um, comedy was a survival skill for me when I was younger. Like to make people like you, if you don't have anything, like I didn't fit in, so I didn't was speak it Tamil fluently. When I was in Tamil Nadu, which is a crazy thing, you have to be able to speak Tamil fluently, Especially Kormitra, or no one is, is going to like you. Yeah, uh, and I. I had to be appealing in other ways for people to want to talk to me. So obviously when I got into college and everything, I would just make fun of stuff. But what about the guys? 
Guys must have liked you. Oh, what? Oh, no, you, 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 if you put a wig and went to the south, you would get a movie deal. That's the kind of women we like in the south. I don't know if you're familiar. Okay, you're not. You're not going back <laughs> to Coimbatore. I'm, I'm the That's opposite sure. of what people like in the south. <laughs> because you're thin. Yes, and uh, a little. You mean there's a land thing. where my type of people are appreciated? Yes. I keep telling everybody this. <laughs> Nobody believes me. What is no this collection of me. South stereotypes you're throwing at me? I've been you to the know, South all my life, everywhere. Should, huh. And people must love you there. No, they call me Anna. That's it. See, that is that is a showcase of. Um, that just love. means you're aging. Well, I mean, it's you can't. Thumbi was that. Thumbi was love, but Anna I can't take. <laughs> Anna I can't take after some time. But very interesting story. So, yeah. so tell me honestly that you have to be invisible in college as well when the. No, male... I, I didn't. I I think I. Um, did it on purpose. I was not a so flashy person. There was no lack person. of confidence. You just didn't like. Yeah, I to just show didn't off like. Be no, in the limelight. I, I wasn't. In, I guess I was a bit of an introvert. I guess. How the hell did you become a comedian? Um, you could be a writer. I understand. I, I like I, going. You know. So um, I did. I did not know this was a thing. I had a really tough time in in the corporate. I I think it didn't fit. In my, in my in I didn't double, fit my in my the throat. corporate life. Yeah. So I started looking for things outside of it, and I guess. Comedy Why didn't you was just no, I'm starting. feeling that you're, you're too much angst for nothing. Okay, I understand that, okay, uh, you went to a Tamil speaking environment, you weren't very fluent, you felt a little like the outsider. That's acceptable. Yeah. But by college, it's all about boys and girls. Yeah. And by then, you can't tell me they only like fat girls. Because that's rubbish. There's no world <laughs> that we no, live in. No, it's not. They don't only like, it's a preference, isn't it? And also, like, I was I'll so to, different from everybody a, else. I'll have to do a survey. Yeah, you... How are you different? I, oh, I... Now you sound like Ornob. How are you different? A lot of... Oh, so, basically, they wanted me to wear flowers on my hair to school. Why? And, I mean, to college. For because environment Because they day. like the traditional kind of um, girl. And I wasn't at all traditional. I, in fact, I'm the exact opposite. So, what was home like traditional. then? Traditional. Oh, home was cool. Because everybody in my house so, was pretty... So, at you know, home, your right. personality was far more... You know, aggressive. Yeah, I yeah. That's another thing about me. So I, I my personality changes depending on who I'm with. Are you psycho? I'm. I, I feel like I might have like. You some gave kind me four names. Personality. Name but two, which is, it sounds like a boy from Haryana. I don't know what's going on here. Huh. Yeah, it's a very complicated life. Like maybe I'll do a special on just like me at some point. Like when I become narcissistic so, so enough. So is it fair to say that you were at home one personality and uh, outside perhaps a different person? I think all of us are to an extent, aren't we? Like when you. But when, mostly the other way around. Trying... We're bored at home and we come alive outside. Oh yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, if you look around, that's what happens generally. Yeah. Abhinav but no, I would house, say talk. I would say I'm more myself when I'm at home than I am outside. So where was the performer in you? Now you're already in college. Where's the performer? Oh, the uh, the performer just you know what I didn't even know I had it in me. I just started doing it for fun as a hobby, uh, comedy. I did. I never. Were you thought watching I would something? What influenced you? Oh, so... Um, Please don't say Kani Surka, I'll kill myself. 2011 and 2012 was massive. Uh, it was a massive change in India for stand-up comedy, I'm guessing. Mm. Because Evam in the South, I don't know if you know Evam, but Evam is a big deal I know Ovam, but I don't think we should discuss it in the present <laughs> environment. Anyway, oh. so there are a bunch of South Indian comedians there who started uh, doing stand-up comedy. And I used to watch. And in, I, This is in Southern languages or in English or both? In both. Okay. So then I used to watch those and I Where thought, would you oh, go to watch this? Probably do this, this would be like in proscenium theatre or in a bar? Where would you go? No, this would be like they had proper shows and like uh, so you pay money and, and you stuff. Go. Yeah, I paid mm-hmm. money, bought tickets and went. And they, Do they charge you per joke like we do in Bombay? <laughs> I know they were. They were actually pretty. Um, it was. It was. A pretty I don't know. <laughs> I'm one of those theatre acts who keeps looking around. I'm, I apologize. Yeah. Uh, do you do you not like the stand-up comedy scene in Bombay? <laughs> I don't really attend it. It's late at night. It is. It if is. They do breakfast comedy. I'm in. I'm back. Oh, Shoot. there is one though. You should. Who's doing breakfast comedy? Uh, it happens in Bandra every Sunday. Breakfast Bandra. and bad jokes. Bandra. What time? <laughs> at ten eleven. That's, around that's ten morning. eleven. I guess if you say yeah, and it's that's a bit late. Much. They start at 9 but nobody comes I'm going to be that. flagging by then you know, 11 I may not have enough energy be a bit tough Talk of energy On Sundays though On Sundays is it yeah. Okay that means I've got past the ceiling I have to pay for that If I don't make enough money on this gig Where yep. is this place? Uh, Cuckoo Club The Cuckoo Club yeah. you know, 11 people can sit there Yeah uh, oh, 30 people actually I have more people we at lunch at home a show. We sold out a show recently And there were 30 people And we couldn't believe it yeah. We were like Does the AC allow so many people In this room? I, I want fun to turn someone out Sorry you're 31 <laughs> <laughs> Pouring rain or not Alright we have to take a break here Alright uh, Abbas is given the signal to, uh, Two fingers on one side Two fingers on the other side The finger in the middle I get it Okay Take a break and we'll come back Alright How's it been so far Niv? Uh, it's been fun 
Don't lie. I, no, this is the worst I, we haven't stopped talking, have we? But that happens anywhere. I feel like we're interrupting each other. That's how excited I wish you had more flowers in your hair. <laughs> you know what? Thank God I don't. <laughs> I would too, but I don't have any hair. But I do have flowers. We'll take a break. We'll come back. All right. Advertising is dead. Yep, you heard me right. Advertising is dead. We're all in the content business now. Let's not call it news, TV, radio, etc, etc. It's all content and we're in the middle of this weirdly exciting phase where all the borders and lines that have been drawn over decades has been swept away by this lovely thing called the internet. We're a show where we don't dwell on just the stuff that is now, but rather the wider stuff about advertising, media, content and the whole goddamn circus surrounding it. Tune in every Tuesday for our weekly unboxing of the mystery box we used to call advertising. I'm Varun Dugirala, co-founder and content chief at The Glitch and this is my new podcast, Advertising is Dead. We're back after a long break. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With an unimpressed comedian. <laughs> Should we go with comedian? Or com- what is... I, I, look, I've been saying this to 100 million people. My mother, my daughter, my wife are all alpha females. So I okay. come from a minority, but please understand, I have no status. Okay. So I'm not a typical Indian male whatsoever. But what is this whole thing about comedian with a double the N-E? You know, I'm the wrong person for you to ask because even I, I'm still learning. I don't... I, I wouldn't say I've subscribed to this whole concept yet because I still don't understand it myself. And I feel like all of us are on that learning process. So you're not that aggro in the, the femme dom comedic uh, space. Uh, okay, uh, R- uh, wrong choice of words. The letters <laughs> are flying at me right now. I was told to say this by Abbas. You know. <laughs> I, w- I would say, look, so I'm just, I think it's because of my personality type. I'm a little... A little Average. I'm laid back. You're Switzerland. You're the I'm Switzerland of comedy. You're right there in the middle <laughs> and you're not, not committing left or right. Because yeah, of because your background and how you have to survive it. in Coimbatore, <laughs> dangerous place. Look, yeah. I, you know, I do things... To to make my life better, all right. That's all I understand for now. Like mm-hmm. if um, if there's some kind of feminist thing going on, I subscribe to it because I know what it, is. it it helps me. I have stake in it. Uh, so obviously I'm going to subscribe or I stand up for myself I feel like that makes me feminist whenever I stand up for myself for something I get what you're saying because I've tried a counter movement always uh, you know like for example if they've done burn the bra I've told the guys let's do burn the abdi guard but it doesn't work because most guys don't have abdi guards because, because uh, you they can don't burn have, yourself while doing it because, because they don't Indian have a motivation well, but we have the time <laughs> you we have, have the time. nothing to do exactly. nothing to do all day we were talking a little bit about the fact that you went to this uh, open mic so no before the open mics you went to these uh, evm is it yeah evm shows evm and yeah. and so how did it influence you who are these guys Oh, uh, so there's uh, there's a guy called Karthik Kumar. He's mm-hmm. the one who started Evam. It was a theater group, but then they started doing stand up comedy later. Mm-hmm. And there were no open mics in general. So they do it as a group. Yeah, like it's a chorus it of stand up comedy. Like eight guys talking together. Like a, a- cappella Four. comedy. Like, Four around. Two men come to a bar. Wow. So I just, you know, I'm, really, I'm really getting a, so a sense of how you feel well, about stand up comedy. <laughs> and why I died in comedy. <laughs> Coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's very interesting. I feel like you should just have a part podcast about how stand-up comedy isn't your thing or something. Oh, no, that's not true at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm very supportive except that, like I said, we were already working so I didn't know it was a serious business. Oh. Until suddenly they're making more money than us and I'm a little upset but they, they say, uncle, you're too old, you know. What? But you can watch but in the balcony. No, but okay, that's not true because I was just telling people yesterday about coming here mm-hmm. and like my friends from the south were like, what, you're going to be talking to Cyrus Brosha so you're pretty relevant. They think I'm least. Sajid Khan, he's big. <laughs> He's huge. Everybody knows who he is. Well, okay, I'm not the only one making myself seem average here, I feel like. I'm not average, I'm way below. What are you talking about? Most comedians, you're setting a very high bar for us. Haven't you met comedians? Oh, man. Okay, we have to talk about the show, but I'm still not understanding the transition, if you don't mind. Uh, You're watching these guys perform. Obviously, they uh, sort of, you know, they, they, they hit a note in you and you say, okay, I like this or whatever. But where's the performer coming? Oh, that? Did you see? Or did you like the thinking? There must be something you're relating to on stage. I've I've always been like a storyteller sort of person. Like I've always liked to tell people stories. Uh, I guess. Tell us I guess a story. That's Come on. Where, uh, I wouldn't be able to do it. Like I'm already telling you a story about my life, aren't I? Okay. Uh, I'll give you. I'll give you a topic. Will you make up a short story? <laughs> huh? Uh, you you can't put me on the spot like that. My wife is a transgender. Dot dot dot. 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, uh, stop, stop. Is- she may listen to the podcast. Let's leave it. <laughs> Let's move on. She's not. It's a lovely girl. She used to be. But you know, age has its effect on all of us. Wow. But she's lovelier now, like wine. I, I can save myself. you really I go down trying. like the Titanic, but I'll be the last passenger. Yeah. Can we talk more about how you got into it then? So you watch these guys. Uh, mm-hmm. Did you date one of them? Did you join the troupe? What, what, what is it? No, I don't date. 
You uh, don't date. No, that's not you a concept. A it's not a concept. Like we don't what? know what to do to date. Uh, You've it's never not dated? a thing. No. You not really. <laughs> okay, one no, second, Miss Average. Wait, first now you got to answer this. First you can't get out of this one. <laughs> okay. You've never gone on a date with a guy. No, because nobody asks people out like that. They just come and Tinder. say, "I love you, marry, marry, marry me." You know, boys don't have that concept. Are you not blaming the South again <laughs> with some new Look, rules? That's the kind of In South, we only do it this way. No, it's not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't stereotype yeah. the South. Yeah. Uh, it's just that I've been amongst that crowd. Uh, there was a posh crowd. You know, the hip only crowd. the elite. Would actually pe- ask people out to that's dinner. That's always and the way in, like in Indian colleges and all. It is. They have the hierarchy. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like dating is a very foreign concept in this country. What? I I feel like people still so don't you know. You go with the Haryana style of. Uh, <laughs> ah, mujhe pasand hai. Yes, that's exactly like where I. You know what? In college, someone would stare at me. If I looked at him back, he would think I liked him. So I would have to not look at people in the eyes just because the guy is gonna think that I like. Initially, him. I thought you were lying about your life, but now it looks like it's been terrible. I'm. Yes, I'm trying. <laughs> you can't to even make you. eye contact with a guy passing by yeah, yeah, while you in can't. your best years of your life in college when you're young and free and innocent. You have to put your head down and walk yeah. like. You know, you're in the middle of the ice. Yeah, yeah, people don't really understand this, which I'm very, I am shocked by the lifestyle over here. Uh, once I came to Bombay and people started talking about this whole dating scene, I was like, where has this been? <laughs> like, I didn't know this existed in this country. Uh, 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 will you swear and tell me you've never been on a date? Yes. This is not funny now. This it's is not really funny. sad. It is. It's not a sad thing. It's very common. My, I have two sisters. So you go on picnics. And none of them have been on dates. All three women have never been on dates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is the saddest uh, story I've ever heard. It's not sad. It's real. Okay. Uh, not, uh, either gender? It's, is it a gender preference issue? It's not. A, what's I don't the problem? Boys haven't been on dates because you don't know how to. Boys they don't, don't go on dates because women say no. That's different. No, I'll tell you why. Because hmm. okay, so I don't think you're understanding. Like people have. She's treating me like I'm a five-year-old. <laughs> I mean, I've been on dates. I've gone on dates, yar. Girls have said yes. Mushkil say, but they've said yes. Huh, go on. Boys. Yeah, you grew oh, up in Bombay. This woman is a regionalist, I'm telling you. And self deprecating first she takes, puts down the South, where she comes from. Then she alienates parts I'm of the South. It's like down. Kerala versus Tamil. And it's not even full. It's just going but all, which is attacking. These are literally the facts. They're okay. not even... I'm, you know what? You're I not even, cannot believe okay. that you've never been on a single date. Do you, have you not heard of Satyabama University? I have. Do you know that boys and girls aren't allowed to talk to each other? But that's ridiculous. That's just just stupid uh, conservative thoughts from before. It doesn't actually happen. It happens. (laughs) No, no, but now it doesn't happen. Come on. Oh, it's just been lifted, like very recently. uh, Because now they think they're promoting homosexuality. So now... (laughs) You've gone the other way. Lovely. Thought process in India, always extreme. But uh, can you just... you, You swear you've never been on a date? You've never... You and a guy have not gone to a cinema, just two of you? I mean, there are other people in cinema, they're not known to you. Have you ever gone on a date for a movie, for example? No. Uh, so you're hesitating, so tell the truth. Okay, I've been out Who's with friends, out? like a group of No, not of groups, people. not groups. No. You've never been on a no, solo then. date with one male? No. Ever? No. In your entire life? I don't know how to explain this N- to you. You're no longer it's funny. Not. You're a tragedy. I'm feeling so bad for you. That's where funny comes from, Cyrus. My God. <laughs> you're the female Woody Allen. Rejected everywhere. <laughs> what, what a story. Uh, it, but, it's, it, but it's very common. N- not even for lunch, dinner. Social. Okay, but you're but it's never you're, been a date though. What does that mean? You gone alone with a guy, right? For the social in the school, college, whatever. But it wasn't. It was no. For a party, nah. he's not taking you and said, "Let's attend the party together." I'll I've pick never you up. been to parties. What are parties? <laughs> what? Well, I've DMK, been to house AIDMK, parties. That kind of thing. I've been to house parties, but uh, you don't go with dates. So you just go and whoever's there, you just talk. No, to that, them that, and get that's back. all. That's all rubbish. That's how men behave. You're behaving like a man. Have you now a one-on-one date? No one is taking you for coffee. You've not gone to a coffee shop? There's, there's no concept like CCD that. CCD was Cyrus. invented in the South. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe you're so shocked by this. I'm shocked. In fact, <laughs> everyone in the room here, which is three of us, are all shocked. No, Abbas understands it. I don't mean to be offensive, but you're not. You're, you're, you seem an attractive girl, so why would you not go on a date? That... I, I Also, I'm. Um, okay. So, um. First of all, there's no concept like that. Where nobody I asked of, you out? No, nobody asks anybody out. Have you, have you watched a Tamil movie? I, I watch lots of Tamil movies. Yeah, do they ever ask the girl out in Tamil movies? No. They, they do talk sort of. them and then they go, excuse me, I love you. I've seen a lot of Vikram you. movies, for and example. And then it, that's how it goes. Like, I, all my friends who've had boyfriends, they never went out or anything. This guy, like, just goes and, like, professes So we have to follow the her. Tamil movie. That's the only way to do it. 
<laughs> really? Uh, I, I'm just asking. I, I would think so. In case I have to go back to the south and restart my life, I've got to follow the rules here. Yeah, and I didn't like that. I didn't like the concept of a boy coming so and telling me. So zero to hero, so literally. So I've still had boys come and tell me that they like me. Yeah. But it was always a reaction? commitment. It wasn't. It was never. Let's just go for a coffee, hang out, and then. Dis- so, it was never like that. It was just like I love you, and they wrote books about me. They would be very intense, you know. Wow. So I would like stay away from that so, because I didn't want to lead anybody. So there's no on. question of introduction and hi, my name is. Uh, oh, they would just be people who were in my class or people who knew me. Straight already. to I love you so and I want to marry you, and I've written to, two books yeah, about you. They would go straight to like I have uh, very strong feelings for you. Kind I of want thing. to have children with you tomorrow. Yeah, kind of. And, and and what do you say? How do you handle that? that? You you handle that by going um I'm not interested. I have a terminal <laughs> illness. Yeah. You'd have to like shut it down. I'm I was very brutal. Um, in my time Because but, I'm just that type okay, of person That's in Coimbatore I still think it's untrue But I'll go with it In <laughs> Mumbai what happened? Now you've been here for a long time Yeah but I'm very anti-social here <laughs> I have trust But you work in the night Yes oh, That sounds offensive Your work <laughs> is basically night work So you meet people It's all bars and things like that and Yeah but it's, parties it's, you, and you're, you're being a professional You go there You do your job And you get back to your house So you're, you're saying it's like being a waiter you work it's there, but you much. don't actually do more than that. Except, except, like you don't go to a table where people will leave their numbers out there for you. Well, in Cuckoo Club, it's like a table, so I don't know <laughs> from what I gather. All right, listen, we have to get, we have, we're running out of time with a stupid date story which I can't digest <laughs> properly, and then you're just taking but a Mickey out of fun, me. It's fun, hasn't it? It's it has been. Fun. What's wrong with Indian men also? Yeah, they really are crazy. Savan, you're a, you're from the south. What the hell? Have you done this? <laughs> have, have you just shouted, "I love you"? First, first off, straight. First shot. <laughs> God, so what do they do from I love you? There's nowhere to go. What do they do next? I don't know. They just get married, as far as I've seen. And then they love somebody else. No, they they're pretty committed in their relationship. You think? I've seen Tamil films. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and off camera. Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Uh, okay. Let's How the move hell on. did you land up in Queens of Comedy? I sent in um a video and they liked it and I got selected. So my com- What was the video? Do you can you give us a little? Yeah, it was okay. So it was mm-hmm. a home video, right? So mm-hmm. I just basically this is why I think I fluked in, all right? Because I just made fun of the terms and conditions of the show. Very nice. <laughs> Took the terms and conditions of the show and I made fun of them because they were saying things like, "Oh, if you're pregnant, you're not allowed on the show." And I was like, "Why? Why? What kind of a, yeah? What kind of a rule is that that you can't be pregnant on the show? Yeah. So many men look pregnant. Exactly, <laughs> and probably are. Never tell you. In secret. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that shouldn't but, be. I mean, it's that's an, a weird point. It's a very you're pregnant. Weird it's a very dangerous show. You got a mic yeah. and you're talking. You know, anything can happen to the child. That was yeah. a rule that yeah. a pregnant woman can't participate in the yeah. show, and I found that Oof. very funny. So I I made fun of the terms and conditions. So already you've got a lobby Pregnant women across India Will support you (laughs) Women in the south Who've gone through the I love you problem Will support you You've got lots of little uh, Lobbies all over Uh huh Uh huh Then uh, then, they loved it. You were on. Yeah, and then they had a, they had this voting system, which I thought I would fail because I public, don't have any friends to vote voting. for me. Yeah, it was a public voting system. It doesn't and work that they nave. It doesn't work like that. Okay, they like you and they vote for you. There are no friends involved. Friends never oh, vote for no, you. No, but you had to get the points. So it was almost what like points? you had to tell people to vote for you because ah, you had to sell vo- yourself. Yeah, you had to, you had to market yourself, and I'm yeah. very bad at that. So I was like, okay, this is yeah. where it doesn't work out for me. But then I, I, I worked in an editing company, uh, like. A, a self-publishing company at the time and uh, my boss found out and he sent out an email to everyone saying oh you should vote that's how I got the votes because so your boss won the contest sort of what's her name <laughs> it's his name Naveen Valsukumar was he pregnant uh, no <laughs> damn it we could have won this competition from another way totally <laughs> But uh, yeah, but that's how because the company voted for me is why I got. To okay, so tell us how did you system. the whole experience now? You went from a from at least from what you say, well, you appear to be very confident. So I can't believe it. Yeah. Uh, you <laughs> went from being almost shy and dismissive about all this yeah. to suddenly being in a very competitive environment. Yeah. Where some of the girls, I'm presuming, were you know already honed in the skills of comedy and already were performing everywhere. While you were completely yeah. like a newbie. Let's face yes, it. Yes. Yes. So how did you handle all that? Uh, it was very new to me. I think I learned joke writing uh, in co- Queens of Comedy. Like uh, just that, by observing, or they sort of by observing, you? and they had workshops. So I w- and I've watched a lot of comedy before that. Like I've watched a lot of stand up before that. Right. So I guess it was also at the back of my head. So I was able to apply what I already saw, mm-hmm. and then what people were telling me then. Um, Who was the worst performer on View? Out of the eight of yeah, us, yeah. I can't say that. Of course you can. If, if in the I south we can say, say I love that. you immediately, why can you say who's the worst? I tell you, you know what? Gone? You know what? In, in, in the beginning, uh, second worst. <laughs> I'm not going to say who's the worst and stuff. Okay. Like I really like. Who do you these think girls. would win? Like we're like I really like them because you won. You love them all. 
It's not because I won. If you lost, it changes. I mean, I, look, Cyrus, you don't understand. I never fit in anywhere. I fit in with these these seven girls that I was with. You're all average, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to say that, I would. I'm not. But, but argue. some of them were experienced. I just want to make that point. Some yeah, they were experienced. So they had that advantage of having done shows, as you say, yeah. write your own material and be in a competitive space. Which also, yeah. no matter what people say, experience helps. Yeah. Competing against people over a period of time, you get better at it, or you, you know, leave the profession, <laughs> uh, as uh, we should have done long ago. I'm um, for myself, <laughs> not you. So how was that whole experience? Were you intimidated at uh, all? I wasn't. So that's the thing about oh, me. You had nothing to lose. I, I had nothing to lose. Uh, and I and after what you've a... been through with men in Coimbatore, this was nothing. Yeah, I'm a pretty, I would say I'm a pretty tough person, just in general. I think you have lots of opinions, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you won't run out of comedy, that's fine. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that's another thing, I have a lot to say. Um, what is the pro- was it a fair process, you think? I mean, I know you won and all that, but... You... <laughs> yeah, so I don't get to say that, do I? I don't get to say if it was a fair... I would say it was, I'll say this. I was very grateful for it because I didn't know I was capable of it before that. I just went on Queens. Of, I thought, okay, I'm just gonna have fun. I didn't even quit my job. I was on my day job while I was doing Queens of Comedy, which is which means I was working remotely. So the entire week working remotely. Yeah, I was working from Bombay, but I would have to do so I, nine to six. Like I would work, and then I would go Wait. to an open mic from the hotel room. You worked in the hotel. Yeah, I worked in the hotel, but room. not for the hotel. Not for the for. Okay. So like you worked in the hotel room on your normal job, and after six, you shot. Yeah, after six, um, we would do open mics to test our material. Oh, in actual live clubs and all that? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know the very really elaborate process for no money. <laughs> yeah. Really, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. All right, before we wrap it up, uh, tell me about the judges. I know Kanis was there. Who else was there? Uh, Rohan Joshi and well, Richard well, So, how, did they did reach as a comedian? Isn't she, is she an <laughs> no, actress? She's an actress, but she. But now with that not working out, could she turn to comedy, is it? No, I, I, I'm guessing. Where do you go from comedy? Someone tell me. <laughs> because she was like the audience perspective, wasn't she? Okay, she so they had this th- one so called uh, non uh, yeah, person. Yeah, comedian, yeah. I don't know, whatever that means. I guess that's that's what the. So, what idea Rohan was, and uh, Kanis helpful? Yes, I know very helpful. Yeah, yeah but, uh, Kanisa's workshop on uh, improv, improv is yeah. very useful. And a South African half accent and all the yeah, yeah. yeah. uh. So that was fun. Um, and also, I got to do it for free, which is great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I wouldn't have been able it? to do that. Sorry, how long? Uh, it went for a day. The whole show was one day. Oh, you mean the show? I'm sorry. I was I was talking about uh, Kanisa's improv show. Um, the show went on. <laughs> okay, I just want to do the this. Entire, uh, August and September, two months, I'm guessing. All right, listen, I want to do this only as a as an example or as an exercise. So please, this is not a Me Too movement. Uh, uh, I'm going to just try it to see how you respond. Right. Okay, I'm just going to say it. I love you. Uh, yes, I'm not waiting. interested. <laughs> I love you very much. <laughs> Do they make like gestures you, with their heart? You know what's that? funny? You don't. You have your face is so. You have no expression while saying it, which makes it easier for me to turn it down. I like have loved usually, and lost so much. There's usually no point. Usually, there's so much. There's so much um, neediness. You know how it. you put me down in that one minute so badly before trying to explain your point. You already killed me. Listen, uh, Niv, we've lost okay. a lot of time here. Okay. Uh, we're, we're rushing <laughs> through. We've given you too much time. In fact, on our show, which nobody <laughs> listens to. However, very quickly, please tell us your life yeah. has changed post that uh, victory at Queens it has. of Comedy. You're now an established name. What do you do? Where can we see you? What's up next? What's in the portfolio? For now, it's just stand up. But I'm I'm hoping I'll be able to write shows and stuff uh, in the future. I want to be I want to be able back to home. Were shows. they happy with you? Ba- back home, I mean Kerala and Coimbatore, where you grew up in terms of education and all that. Well, what about uh, what was the reaction there when you won the? Uh, the... Oh wait, Coimbatore is in Tamil Nadu, by the way. I know that. Okay, but under, I, under, under you, said, you in kept Kerala. saying Kerala. I know my like geography people, very well. Don't challenge me. People think Coimbatore is in Kerala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not. I just well, there is also disputed territory in the south. We won't get into that. But very, very quickly, <laughs> right, yeah. were, were you given like a homecoming? Were they were like very proud of you? Um, or they just said well, I love you and you have moved away? I, I guess I came in like one newspaper once I got back. But it no, wasn't the a community, big the guys who stand up and all that. Did they take to you immediately? Oh yeah, they were surprised. They this were like, we didn't even know. Had. You just won't say anything. <laughs> huh? They didn't even know I, would, I, I was even in the comedy scene. So a lot of people were just surprised. They were like, oh, who's this person? They felt you cheated. From Tamil you kept Nadu. quiet and then you won the tournament <laughs> and, he, and no one knew about it. Yeah, I was, I was pretty much a surprise for everyone. So where do you do? Where, where do you work more now, Mumbai? Yeah, I'm in Mumbai right now. And you're going to stay I've here, moved. obviously. Yeah. All right. So are the men different? Uh, I'm sorry to keep know. coming back, but I'm most uh, that just <laughs> boggled my mind completely. The whole experience uh, would, of not going on a date. I would I would say the men here get more sex than <laughs> other but places. But masturbation is not sex. For I've been sure. trying to explain that to comedians. <laughs> no, I'm. You know what? I'm. I'm guessing it's much more difficult for people in other parts of this country you than think? it is for people in Bombay. Yeah. So Bob. if you've been having a tough time. 
You have met doctors. <laughs> I use homeopathy, so my life is totally different. As we close, um, who would you like to go on a date on? There must be some guy you like, uh, uh, some iconic figure, some actor, you know, something like that. Surya, maybe. No. No. <laughs> no. He used to be the hathra, but I better keep up with times. I don't know. I, I, there's Ajit. nobody like that. I'm. I'm pretty. I'm very stoic like that. I don't stoic. Know. Stoic is Marcus Aurelius, no? Which is basically action speaks louder than words. So what does that mean? <laughs> that means you're okay with dating, but it's yeah, okay. But okay, I, don't go there. Don't go there. All right. All right, we're very quickly. Come on, give me a name. Somebody you like. Uh, Ruan Joshi, Ashish Shakya. Oh, I have, to, I have to give Indian names. I was looking Ooh, at you racist? Like, people I from like. From regionalism, you want to racism? From Fair everywhere. enough. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> okay, uh, what's, his, what's his name? Brad Pitt. I don't know. Who are the big names now? Help me. Iconic uh, American uh, actors. <laughs> Will Smith, I don't know. You oh, names. I'm a big, big fan of Will Smith, actually. Okay, I grew so up Will watching. Smith you'd go on a date with? Yeah, but he's married, though. He's as old as you, sir. What's your problem? Yeah. You're not his rep. <laughs> Why do you come on the mic suddenly? Is Cyrus that old? I'm that old. Oh, my God. I'm Will Smith's dad. I have no idea. I'm Will Smith's senior. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the fresh king. All That's right. incredible. Cheers. Nev, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Sorry we've run out of time and I've you. interrupted you too much. But we've learned so much about you, which is absolutely <laughs> nothing. But I'm sure you go really far. Don't forget us. Thank you so much. Yep, the guest has just left the studio, but we have our AMAs coming up right now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another awesome week on the IVM Podcast Network. If you aren't following us on social media, please make sure that you are. We are IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you are following us on social media, I'm sure you know that it's our fourth anniversary this month. Yeah, IVM is four years old. We've done 3,500 plus episodes of content, and it's been an amazing ride with a lot of fun guests, a lot of fun content, and a lot of great hosts. We'd like to thank all of our hosts because without them, we wouldn't really be doing all that much. Also, I mentioned over the last couple of weeks that we're running a service survey right now a listener survey it's on ivmpodcast.com slash survey if you have not filled that out please do fill it up it'll help us figure out what is working for you what's not working and we'll give us some information that we can use to get some advertising on the show on the scene in the unseen Amit Burma is joined by author Srinath Raghavan they discuss the recent tensions between India and Pakistan its historical context and what the future may hold we're launching a new show called States of Anarchy about global affairs hosted by foreign policy enthusiast Hamsini Hariharan on how to citizen we move on to chapter 8 confronting marginalization Meghna and Shreyas are joined by creative director Joel Pereira who draws from his professional and personal experiences to discuss the topic. On Advertising is Dead, Varun talks to executive editor of Rolling Stone Nirmika Singh about new age journalism, what it takes to be a music journalist in India, the rise of Indian hip-hop and a lot more. Also check out last week's episode with Gaurav Kapoor, founder of Oak Tree Sports and former VJ who talks about his journey to becoming a sports presenter and what's missing in our sports content. On Gold Gappa, Tripti is in conversation with musician Karan Chitra Deshmukh. He talks about how he got into playing instruments and gives a glimpse of his talent on the show. On Geek Fruit, Tejas and Jishnu talk about their favorite classic TV shows and give their opinions on which can be potentially revived. Also check out last week's bulletin where they talk about IVM's fourth anniversary and their favorite shows on our network. And with that, let's continue with your show. If you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail.com. We're back here with the AMAs and with me is Ashish. Hi, how are you? Why am I talking like it's a baseball final? <laughs> This I is how the American know. announcers do it. Even if it's a match between like two people nobody's heard of. Yes, it's John Prabhu versus Gulla Gilla. <laughs> Gulla Gilla, would you say something? No, no. What is a Gulla Gilla? Yeah, what is that? That's the funny thing. No? That's the whole idea of my super intellectual okay. comedy is to oh, take so. it a, a pace where no one else has gone, invent a name which nobody knows of, and hence, why am I excited? Of course. Now that I've explained the whole thing, the comedy's gone flat, but mm. who cares? Mr. Ashish, Ashish, a word about yourself. It's your second time on the show, as far as I remember. Yeah. So tell us in 30 seconds or less, what yeah. the hell are you doing here? I'm managing some shows here. Uh, no, no, nobody cares about that. What are you doing <laughs> on my podcast? You called me, so you tell me what am I <laughs> okay, doing you here. Can't say that, then I look like, exposed <laughs> like a fraud. You have to give me some other story. Anyway, so, don't want to? Nah. Done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, the best part, as I mentioned last time, is this moustache which we can't show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if you log on to our. Uh, What's IBM it called? Podcast IBM at Podcast On Twitter, Facebook and Instagram At Twitter, Facebook and Instagram I'm yes. saying it slowly for my generation Because you don't <laughs> understand You hit us with all these uh, Handles and titles And uh, dot uh, web- websites Which nobody can remember hmm. I don't know Why do they do that on radio sometimes? Or t- not just us what? They hit you with this website name Which is a little complicated And they expect you to just take it down Because that's how you reach people But, but do you, do you, does it go into your collective head? Of course it does, yes So if I say uh, Hi guys, you're watching the show You don't even have to go to the head As soon as he says it you type it on your phone who's oh, that like, I, I have who never done that. that Ashish have you ever done that <laughs> no, I have never ever done that <laughs> what on, uh, Abash you stand exposed I can kind of do 
I guess when you're a fan of something, you just want to reach them as soon as you the can. Only so the only time I see you holding the phone and taking things down is on Saturday night when you're alone. Okay. And you're looking. Well, at how, why are you watching me how on Saturday you know night? That? <laughs> I'm also alone. So I'm presuming <laughs> animals of the same type do the same thing at the same time. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's start the the EMAs. EMAs. We've got some interesting questions which I have not even reviewed, so I know they're good. <laughs> okay. So Adil Hussain has asked that uh, Cyrus as a fan of Test cricket, the one tradition I see dying out in Test cricket is the concept of a night watchman, which is when mm-hmm. Uh, when a lower order batsman is sent up the order to uh, play out the overs in a day uh, do you think it's one of those things that will uh, well see here's, here's the real truth about the whole night watchman this comes from a Mumbai car mm-hmm. where watchmen are very much part of our you know yeah. collective consciousness wherever we go I got to tell you that supposedly it's the batsman who decides the incoming batsman who yeah, decides that yeah. over baki hai. I don't ah. want to face the thing so I want a night watch right. mm-hmm. but I think in today's cricket the most of the captains around are so alpha like yeah. that they will decide so right. that's the biggest issue is that they will decide that you know let's not waste the wicket on a night so, watch so you were saying the uh, previously the coach used to decide no no, the, no it's, it's actually the prerogative of the batsman going in technically okay. this is an unwritten law okay. that cricketers uh, mm. follow even in small yeah. gully cricket or whatever mm. uh, gully cricket why they're batting <laughs> <laughs> last over <laughs> sending the guy I don't know right. but, god really we should get experts yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're taking this too far with the amateur yeah. shit yeah so the, the, the funny part is I think that the uh, captain or maybe the coach has taken over mm. in such a way that they will make this decision mm. so they don't want to lose another wicket and they right. feel you know now as a batsman you want your money yeah. to go and face seven balls in so-called bad light and mm-hmm. with a lot of pressure with fielders crowding in and nothing to lose but then what the about the next day then the next day that batsman still has to play the rest of the overs right Abbas are you a moron <laughs> why oh, are you an absolute moron I mean it's worse no, than having conversations it's like you send you send the not right. experienced batsman up the order yeah, to play out the rest fine. of the day but that's fine he's a bakra na? he's a sacrificial wicket mm. you're putting him there in the morning he gets out he gets out but in fresh light and uh, the fresh morning mm. so the better batsman can for come for non-cricket yeah. people how do I explain it to you it's the pressure of that last few last overs few okay I'll explain it to you in what's sex. the pressure sex <laughs> supposing you have only two minutes to have sex okay alright uh-huh. and uh, the girl and you are together uh, right. And you feel that you'll not be able to get, you know, to perform because you don't have the ability to get ready in two minutes, if you know mm. what I mean. I don't. Enlarge yourself go. to a certain degree. Yeah. Then you may call a professional and say, will you take over because I'm not able to do this in two minutes. But that's minutes. what this guy is not a professional, right? He's a professional right? night he's watchman. Professional night that, that's what he does. So he's supposed to just go there and block the ball yeah. five times. Nishan Sharma, Zindaba, tak, 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 tak. tak. Oh, yeah. But that's so, that's so, like, merciless. Like, you go, you, we don't care. No, you're care. protecting oh, yeah. the real batsmen who will do the real fight tomorrow. Exactly. They are so like why pawns. aren't you understanding that? I've used pawn metaphors for you. What more can I do now? <laughs> because I remember, in, I don't remember what year this was, but it was a test match between India and Australia. Last few hours remaining. So, they, I think Ganguly was the captain. He said, hmm. Nayan Mungya at number four to, hmm. to, so that Sachin doesn't come out to bat, right? No, that's different. That's different. They wanted to protect uh, Sachin. So, they that's what, so played na- him at five, played him, uh, didn't bat him at four many times. Nine and Munger mm-hmm. then got out and then Sachin had to go anywhere to play four balls yeah. so then that happens point? also whoever the night watchman is whoever is there to protect your wicket may get out then you have yeah, to go then you have to sometimes they send the two night watchmen so it's night watchmen not watchmen <laughs> but it can't go on because the whole team will get out like that yeah. has there ever been a case where they sent as a night watchman and actually ended up hitting a century or something yeah they have there oh, have been really? cases and not only they go up the order after that yeah. Some, sometimes even overtake the batsman Okay, I yeah. think Pat Simcox. Okay, now you're talking like a ten-year-old boy. <laughs> ask me questions, and then suddenly feed me with your Pat Simcox information that you have. So okay. we knew the answer. Why do you ask the question? <laughs> Next question is also about crickets by Girish Patel. He mm-hmm. says, "Hey, Saris, is James Anderson really a world-class bowler? His performance outside England and especially in subcontinent are ordinary. What's your take?" So you're going to say Anil Kumble's uh, uh, performances in India are, are far better than his performances abroad. I mean, mm-hmm. that's a difficult one. Yeah, bowlers are bowlers for courses sometimes. Okay. Not everybody. He's a world beater across all conditions. And it's in the swing bowler, Baba. Mm. You know that now. Swing bowler, you need... Swing bowler needs a lot I'm of... Burping, uh, I'm sorry. You need conditions <laughs> yeah, for exactly. the ball to swing. And the pitch is also different and... Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, so, so, so he needs... He, in England, he gets that swing, overcast conditions. Yeah. He'll get it in Mumbai if they play at 5 in the morning, but they don't. They don't. And yeah. so, yeah. So, those are the places where he will shine because that's his skill. Set, bro. Now, so Ashish, you haven't said anything. You yeah. answer this question on your own for five minutes. <laughs> no, I think Anderson will do good because the World Cup is in England. Correct. So I think he... But he won't be chosen. He doesn't play the 50 overs. Ashish, get out of the show. <laughs> <laughs> you wasted my time. I gave you a chance and you said the most stupid thing. Maybe. Okay, this is terrible. This is like wife bashing. No? It's just going on and on. <laughs> Stand up for yourself, Ashish. No. Ashish, what the hell, yeah? Anderson only plays red ball cricket. They haven't played him in a one-day game in many years. 
He doesn't even know it's 50 overs. <laughs> I like, suddenly I'm not the least. Yeah! <laughs> now we got two. <laughs> Ashish has been demoted to Night Watchman. Yeah. He was vice captain, I put him down to Night Watchman. He's going into bat to protect my wicket. Alright, that's all we have time for. Luckily, uh, we ran out of questions because two long answers, uh, long winded answers on Night Watchman and Jimmy Anderson, have, who by the way was a Night Watchman in many games and was known to be a very good blocker. Jimmy and Anderson. Jimmy Anderson would okay. be sent as a Night Watchman to block okay. the balls. Mm-hmm. Oh, just block the ball sounds wrong. <laughs> so I, I'm going to end right there. He was a ball blocker. He was a ball blocker. <laughs> uh, anybody between the age group of 6 and 97 But listen, over 97 it doesn't apply Send us your questions, your AMA questions For our 350th episode of Cyrus Says If you want 351, we need your questions Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps Please, we beg you, we need you Send us your questions on Twitter On Cyrus Says In Or you can email us, even if you're not female On whatcyrussays at gmail.com and that's what Cyrus says. Hey Amit, what do you think about starting a dating podcast? Uh, to be honest, I think that idea is kind of garbage. Sure, just like dating then. Oh, we could call it dating is garbage. Uh, we could talk to people about their sad dating lives. Okay, I'm not so sure about that. And we can discuss our terrible sex lives. Okay, definitely not that. We could talk about how there's no such thing as love and it's all a load of crap and nothing can ever truly bring meaning to our lives. Okay, you might need some help there. All right, it's a yes then. Dating is garbage. Every week, we break down all things from dating apps, social media, texting, calling, dating rules, and more with some really cool people. Episodes out every Thursday on the IVM Podcasts app or wherever you get your podcasts. Bharatiya Sine Itihas Me Mahilaon Ki Jagha Talashta Hamara Khas Hindi Podcast, Cinemaya. Nideshikaon Ki Filmo, Kahanio, or Nazariye Ko Samajne Ki Hamari Ek Koshish. मैं हूं स्वाति बख्शी और मेरे साथ सुनिए सिनेमाया आईवीएम पॉडकास्ट ऐप और आईवीएम पॉडकास्ट.कॉम पर भी